Hello, I'm Ann Sullivan, and welcome to this video blog post at heartmastery.com. In my last blog post, I talked about how to keep your scale practice interesting and talked about a few ways to do that. I got a number of comments and questions, and I thought this video blog post might be the best way to answer them. Specifically, the questions were about playing your scales in different rhythms and how to do that. Um, and I have some sort of fun ways. First of all, playing scales and rhythms is very good for you. It switches up the accent on your fingers, so it makes your technique more even. And playing in different rhythms, especially if you work with a metronome, which I highly recommend, helps even out your rhythm. And of course, it's just more fun. So three good reasons to play your scales and rhythms. But let me show you a couple ways I do it. One that's fun is to just take the rhythm from any piece that you know and turn that into a scale. Let's start with something simple like the minuet in G. Now we're not going to play those notes, but we're going to play the scale in that rhythm. One, two, and three, and one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Like this. famous Handel Harp Concerto, the opening of that. Let's take that rhythm. Whether or not the concerto is in your repertoire, the scale certainly can be. So let's take that rhythm and play a scale. Just play the triplet followed by the eighths as you play your scale. Great way to practice that. So that's one method. Now there's another way that's even more fun, I think. And this is what I talked about in the blog post when I mentioned the calypso rhythm and the boogie woogie rhythm. Now, you need to know what those rhythms are. You can find them lots of places. Here's a very simple little calypso bass pattern. And all by itself, that makes great scale practice, especially if you want to practice making your syncopations accurate. So accompaniment like this. Lots of fun. 
The challenge to this is to keep your right hand fingering straight. Make sure you don't get your fingers all tangled up. And then the last one I talked about was the boogie woogie rhythm. Well, here's a pretty simple boogie woogie rhythm. Now I'm using a pedal here to, to add the chromatic to it. If you don't have a pedal harp, you want to do this on a lever harp, just maybe something like this. an extra syncopation in the middle of this. So I have the long shorts and the syncopation there. So it has a little bit of interest. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And you can do that rhythm in your scale pattern. play a scale and your left hand play the boogie woogie bass. Um, to make this work better, since I do like this to work, I start my right hand, I add an extra syncopation and I start my right hand on the second note of the left hand. Each repetition that comes up, it just it works out. You'll see, it goes like this. questions and inspired you to find other ways to play your scales and above all inspired you to practice your scales. So until next time on heartmastery.com, I'm Ann Sullivan and thank you very much.